For people who have watched my videos during the last few months, you'd notice that I always keep calling spell cards magic. And I guess some of you are wondering why that is. Because that's what they are. Thanks for watching. If you Oh, you want me to elaborate? Uh, okay, um, that seems fair. Um, go to intro. Before I get into why I personally continue to call spells magic, I think it's important to talk about how the cards were renamed as spells and why. Overall, it was the result of actions taken between Upper Deck and Wizards of the Coast, but while researching for this video, there really wasn't a lot of information out there. So what I'm about to talk about is simply a result of my findings, so if you have any information or corrections about this dispute, uh, please let me know in the comments below. From the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh, the green cards were classified as magic. They were used as a form of support for your monsters or disruptor to your opponent. Unlike traps, these cards can be played from your hand during your turn. These cards have always been referred to as magic in the manga, anime, video games, and the English version of the card game, until 2003's release of Magician's Force. At the time, Upper Deck was a publisher of the cards in the US. They had control of the game and often made decisions on Konami's behalf, and some behind their back. This kept going on until Upper Deck was sued by Konami for alleging that it had distributed inauthentic Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG cards made without Konami's authorization, and in return, Upper Deck sued Konami for slander. Yeah, so as, as you can imagine, these, these two companies, they did not get along very well. But a long story short, in 2009, the court decided that Upper Deck was liable for counterfeiting the cards, and it dismissed Upper Deck's countersuit against Konami. So now from that point on, Konami ran the show. But when it comes to the whole magic card controversy, there seems to be multiple versions of the story, but here's what I found. As we know, Wizards of the Coast owns Magic the Gathering, a itty bitty card game I think some of you heard of. It was released in 1993 and continues to be one of the best selling TCGs out there. When referring to Magic the Gathering, people would call the merchandise MTG cards or, more commonly, Magic cards. This was never an issue until a year or so after the release of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists, including myself, thought it was pretty funny how when you would talk about magic cards, um, either it would be associated with the MTG game or a card type in Yu-Gi-Oh! and if it would actually cause confusion. Well, while it began as a simple joke inside the TCG communities, it turned into something much larger within the companies that publish the games. One version of the story states that Wizards of the Coast sued Upper Deck to have the term magic removed from the green Yu-Gi-Oh cards because the term magic card was too similar to the name Magic the Gathering and how their cards were described. But given that Magic the Gathering also uses similar terminology in Yu-Gi-Oh and other card games, I personally found this reason for the change to be nonsense, and hence why I am a little skeptical about the story, but it seems to be the most common version of events, so it may or may not be true. The second version of the story is more complicated. It is said that Wizards of the Coast did not pay any attention to the name of Yu-Gi-Oh's green cards until the game and the anime became more mainstream. And when it did, Wizards initially did not mind at all. The term magic is not something you was subject to a copyright or a lawsuit. But here is where it gets funny and sad at the same time. Upper Deck Entertainment, upon seeing the popularity that Yu-Gi-Oh was gaining, decided it would be a bright idea to copyright the term Magic Card in relation to their TCG. They did this on Konami's behalf, or so they say. I have not found anything about Konami knowingly going along with this. Wizards, who was fine with the green magic cards up to this point, defended itself from Upper Deck, who tried to come after them with a copyright claim over magic cards. As we know, Wizards won, and because of the stunt that Upper Deck tried to pull, the green Yu-Gi-Oh cards were changed from magic to spell, 
and the set Magic Rulers were even changed to Spell Rulers for its re-release. This, however, only applies to the TCG. In the OCG, green cards are still referred to as Magic Cards, and are still called that in the Japanese versions of the anime and video games. So knowing all of this, why do I continue to call these green cards Magic? Well, mainly it was because the transition from Magic to Spells was still occurring at the time of my retirement, and most people who played the game from day one still called them Magic because, well, it was mostly based on impulse. The term Spell never really became the norm until New Duels began playing the game in 2004 and thereafter. And so when they looked at older cards that had Magic on them, well, they just referred to it as a typo. But to old farts like me who left the game during the transition and came back in 2018, um, it just became a force of habit and I like the term magic more than spell. But to collectors, the term magic actually gives more value to these older cards, especially with the re-release of classic packs like Legend of Blue Eye. So let's take Monster Reborn for example. The LLB re-release has spell written on it. But if you have the one that has magic written on it, congrats, you have the original version. So that's my whole take on the whole magic dispute between Upper Deck and Wizards of the Coast. So what do you think? These stories seem to be conflicting, and due to the lack of court papers, I can't really verify which story is real. So if you heard anything different, let me know in the comments below. But regardless what is true and what's not, have fun with the game, and as always, to be a good sport, play the game, not the fame. See ya! Thanks for watching! If you like what you see, subscribe and be sure to click on the bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Happy dueling! And there is a plane. Let's let the plane go by first. <laughs> oh, this happens every time I film something. A plane just decides to swoop by. And motorcycles. That's, that's a thing too, apparently. The term spell never really became the norm until 2004 when... What about the traffic? <laughs> oh my cripes. Jeez. I don't even live in the city. What's up?